Here's everything I know about using real-time board for worldly mapping. Uh, first thing's movement. You'll have a little hand tool that you can use to click on the canvas and drag yourself around. If you use the keyboard shortcut V, you can change to a selection tool, um, or you can use the toolbar on the left. This lets you click and move things, select multiple things at once, uh, and work with them on the virtual canvas. Next is creating stickies. So a keyboard shortcut N, or again on the toolbar on the left, uh, there's a sticky note tool. You can click that and then click again on the canvas. You can type in sticky notes. Uh, wonderful things. Um, you can also bulk add. So if you click the sticky note tool again, there's a bulk mode at the bottom. You can add a bunch of things here and then uh, kind of bulk add them all to the canvas. To create connections between sticky notes, all you got to do is select one and then find one of these little blue anchor points. Click and drag it to the sticky note you're trying to make a connection to. And that's all there is to it. You can make changes to the line itself. It has some properties here. You just select the line. Um, I usually go without an arrow. Uh, and also I change the type to a straight connection just to sort of keep things clean. All right, so to add a Wardly Mapping Canvas or other template to the real-time board, what you can do is on the toolbar on the left, find the little ellipsis symbol, click that, click templates, and then do a search for whatever template you're trying to use. So I'll add a Wardly Mapping Canvas here. Uh, so just select it, hit add, it appears. It's beautiful, great. Okay, so once you have a template, uh, one of the first things you should probably do is lock it to the canvas. Because otherwise, uh, what happens is you can accidentally select things and move them around and sort of tear the canvas apart. Um, so hit Command Z, Control Z, just to undo that if that's what's happened already. Uh, and then select the canvas. And then in this little menu that pops up, there's a little another ellipsis. Click that, click lock. Once a canvas is locked, you can just add stickies to it without having to worry about uh, clicking and dragging the wrong thing and moving it around. Okay, so once you have the, the Wordly Mapping Canvas or some other template, uh, the trick is sometimes these sticky notes are a little bit too big. So you can always select them and make them smaller. Uh, and you can always go really, really small if you need to really deal with a complex sort of layout here. Um, but something I recommend is starting with fewer components that, and keeping them kind of high level. Um, it's just an easier way to get started. Uh, I also tend to sort of forgo this, these connections at first, uh, just because they're a little bit much to work with sometimes. Um, another important point about connections is that once you do start dealing with some more complicated layouts, you'll want to be careful about where you're anchoring the connections to, otherwise things get a little bit messy. So if you select the line, you can see these little, uh, these little white dots here. You can click and hold that and then move it to a specific side of a sticky note. What I usually do is the sticky note that's on top, I make sure that the line is anchored to the bottom of the top sticky note. For the sticky note that's on the bottom, I make sure that the line is anchored to the top of that bottom sticky note. Uh, and that just kind of keeps things clean like this. So I hope that helps. That covers more or less all the basics I can think of. Um, if you have questions, add something in the comments below. Find me on Twitter. My handle's in the description. Um, I'll also include a link to an article that uh, points at some interesting things like uh, PowerPoint templates and other alternatives to real-time board. I think you can't beat it if you're trying to do collaborative work um, and you're not in the same room. If you're in the same room, you know, it's always great to use dry erase boards or pencil and paper, and, you know, just talk to each other. Uh, but real-time board's where it's at for remote collaboration. All right, I hope this helped.